All right, so Deion Kane, look, wide receiver, 26 years old, born in Tampa, Florida, 6'2", 202, um, went to Clemson, drafted in 2018, and he played for the Indianapolis Colts, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Baltimore Ravens, and now plays for the Philadelphia Eagles. So, you know, it was a sixth-round draft pick, um, and he's one of those guys, he kind of reminds me of that Travis Fulgham era, you know, where he has such a good build and runs really good routes and has really good hands as far as like ball tracking when the ball gets to him. And you look at all of that combined and you kind of say to yourself, why hasn't he, you know, earned himself like a, a, a solidified long-term type of deal in the NFL? You know, so it's a there, there's something there. There's got to be a reason. You know, he was with the Colts one year, the Steelers one year, the Ravens one year. Um, now he's with the Eagles. But I like him a lot, especially at, you know, potentially the fifth wide receiver spot or a slot on the practice squad. Um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. But I really hope Deion Kane gets a shot with the Philadelphia Eagles and, and gets a chance um, at least to be on the practice squad, at least to be that reserve guy, one of those reserve guys. Uh, and, you know, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, we know that. Quez Watkins, we know that. Um, who am I missing, man? Zach Pascal, we know that. That's top four. I think top four is probably pretty much locked in. Jalen Rager is probably going to be there, again, because of the money because of the draft spot that he was in. And I guess this will be, you know, the 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 year where Jalen Rager basically like, bro, this is your prove it year. This is the this is it for you. You know what I mean? You have to improve on what you've done so far in the NFL if you want to remain on on an NFL roster. You know, you, you were just drafted too high. For the uh, for the performance for the for the for the 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 what's the word I'm looking for value for the you know what I'm talking about man need more coffee Greg Ward uh, yeah I agree with that too Pat I take Greg Ward over Jalen Rager it sucks but it is what it is but the Eagles are in a tough spot with it because of where he was drafted in the contract so you know we'll see uh, but look here's a uh, here, shout out to Mr. Crockpot again for the highlight compilations. And, and here's um, Deion Kane's couple of catches against the Cleveland Browns, and then we'll show a couple of the ones against uh, the Miami Dolphins. But uh, there he is at the top of the screen. And I just really like this dude, man. He's good size, good route running. That's the back shoulder catch against the Cleveland Browns that that we all were, were pretty big fans of. Uh, great throw by Jalen Hurts, by the way. Back shoulder throw down the sideline. Um, and is a 50, 50 ball. And look, I'm, I'm going to go out on, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't think Jalen Rager makes this catch. You know what I mean? I don't think anybody at the number, at the potentially number five spot. Oh, that was Gardner Minshew with the throw. My bad. Um, I don't think anybody with the, that, that, that's, that's in line to be the fifth wide receiver, whether it's Greg Ward, Rager or somebody else. I think Deion Kane's the only guy there that makes that 50-50 ball catch. And I like him. And I hope he makes the roster. Minshew Mania again. Oh, that, oh, that was the same play. Same play. Another back shoulder from Minshew Mania. Dion came with the 360 snag in the toe drag. That's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. That's great stuff. Toe drag swag. That's good stuff, man. Reed Sinet. Was that Reed Sinet, number 10? I can't even keep up, man. Uh, here's a couple of the catches from Deion Kane uh, against the Miami Dolphins. There he is at the bottom of the screen. Nice little out route, snag, get the feet down. Look, I know it's Miami Dolphins. I know it's, 
you know, their uh was this their starting crew? Well they had they had Tua and uh they had Tua and Tyreek Hill in the game for the first quarter. Um so you know. Was this their starting defense? Either way, nice route. Gets the separation. Gets the feet down. Dank Burrito Jalen needs to work on his back shoulder consistency. Well, he needs to work on his consistency <laughs> in general, right? You know, he's made some nice throws. He's made some nice back shoulder throws. The one to Devontae Smith last season for the touchdown was a, was a perfect back shoulder throw. Um, you know, and then and then there's there's balls that are just uh, not even close to accurate um, at the same time. So yeah, consistency is is what Jalen Rager need, or Jalen Hurts needs for sure. Uh, there's a nice no, nice little out route again by Dion Kane. Not even an out route, like a hitch, like a go, like a stop route. Keeps the separation, maybe a little push off with the left hand. We're not going to say anything. Stays in bounds and get a couple extra yards and a pass interference penalty, I think. Or did they call that offensive? I don't know. Uh, and there's Gainwell. You know how he does. He gains well. Uh, Richie MC, AJ Brown helped out Rager. Expected a 180 change last year. Greg Ward was the vet in the wide receiver room. I would, uh, I don't know, man. Is there any helping out Jalen Rager? You know what I mean? Is that really a thing? Like we're we're all grown men here. We're not children. Jalen Rager is not a high school wide receiver. You know, well, is it really like Jalen Rager disappoints for two seasons and then AJ Brown comes in and now Jalen Rager's good because AJ Brown? What did he What did he help him with? You know, what did AJ Brown help him with that NFL coaches, wide receiver coaches, trainers? couldn't help him with 